Peace and blessings, peace and blessings, my brothers and sisters. I just wanted to come today and share a message. Not just a message, but a conversation. A conversation I had with God. I wanted him to give me more information. I had an inquiry. I wanted to know more in detail. I wanted to see what was not being shown. I wanted to perform an examination, a detailed inspection. I wanted to question every little aspect in my life so that I would know that the direction I was moving was for God and ordained by God and it was my purpose. I asked God, give unto me the inquiry, give unto me the detailed inspection, give unto me the details behind the message that I'm supposed to speak not only for my life but for other people. I wanted to be someone of service, not only for just my family, but also people who seek the same things that I do, which is more solutions. And as we move around in this life, it's, it's very obvious that finding solutions is far and few in between. But as we come together, under God's roof, under God's body, under God's mind, solutions seem to come with a snap of a finger. So I wanted to get myself back underneath this space, underneath this shelter, and underneath this shield of faith. Find my family to know that no matter what, no matter what problem's going on, I can always have a solution, a detailed inspection, a detailed examination of not only of what's going on, but how to even overcome it. How to put pieces in place to have everything functioning correctly. And so I just wanted to know the meaning of the case. I wanted to hear the case that was brought forth with all of this confusion going on, with all of this, how can I say, sickness of the mind. What is the evidence that is being brought forth among us? What is this law of the land? And is this law of the land my law? Is this law of the land God's law? Is this law of the land the law of life. Give unto me an inquiry. Give unto me a detailed in inspection, investigation. I wanted to know more. Not only more for myself, but more for who's coming after me. I wanted to teach them more. I wanted to let them know that there is more to life. Help me. I ask God every day, not only to help me, but I want to confess that God helped me. I want people to know that God helped me. <laughs> I wanted people to know that no one else revealed this information to me but God. So I ask God, give unto me the inquiry. Give unto me the detailed inspection. Help me dissipate my doubt. Help me increase in my faith. Help me grow in my desire and being with truth. Mm. Help me grow in the desire and being in truth. I pray. And I just want to believe. I want to believe that there's something greater than me so that 
I know that I'm never alone. So that I know when tough times come that there is some body that I can depend on that has solutions. And not only has solutions, but is able to give them willingly because the love and the care and the trust is there. <laughs> give unto me an inquiry, a detailed examination of the way of life, especially now when it seems as though I walk outside and I see literally no soul in the eyes, lifeless bodies. Help me. Help me dissipate my doubt. Help me increase my faith. I'll be asking God every day. Increase my faith. Help me find more solutions. Where can we receive unbiased truth? Everybody has their own truth. Everybody lives in their own truth. What can we receive? Truth that isn't filtered by anyone's opinions. Information that caters to growth and development for everybody, not just of one person. But I want to see everybody win. I want to see everybody successful in their own right. You know, if it comes to you being who you are and expressing who you are, I want you to be successful. But when it looks as though your success is dependent upon someone else's failure, how can we all come together and join in on that? And I just wanted a detailed examination solutions on how everyone can be successful in their own right without having to put someone else down. How can we do that? How can we strive in a community where everyone wins? And not only that everyone wins, everyone is happy for each and every person that wins. Even when we lose, because it's always a lesson. It's always a reason. It's always something that we can take away and learn from the losses of life. And so I'm just so thankful. I'm thankful that I can even speak. I'm thankful that I can see. I'm thankful that I can think. You know, I try to use these tools to display my message in the most expressive way that I can so that anyone out there who is feeling the same way can know that they're not alone. Who is the God that keeps promises? God that keeps promises. Who can we trust with that? Who shall we trust? And that's my thing moving forward. Even though society tells you to trust the people administering these protocol procedures and such cures, can we really trust them? Are they able to keep their promises? Are they words? here to help us grow and develop everyone. And when trouble comes, who shall we call? <laughs> Famous line from Ghostbusters. Who do you call? My, my answer is simple. God, Yeshayahu, hallelujah, total Rabbi Yeshua. The God of the just shall dwell 
within the case to rightfully judge and bestow peace upon all nations. Separate yourself from the people of the land and to the law of God. Let everyone be knowledgeable and have understanding. Let everyone have knowledge and understanding without having to pay a price, without having to pay a fee. Who gives knowledge for free? And to say that many colleges have a nice price tag for their knowledge. And to say, I went to college, paid a nice price tag for the knowledge too become successful. And as now we're moving forward into the society where not only do you not need to pay the price tag for the knowledge, but you also have to pay the price tag with your body. And that's when I have to question, is this for my growth and development? Nehemiah, chapter 9, verse 32. Now, therefore, our God, the great, the mighty, and the terrible God, who keepeth covenants and mercy, let our not all the trouble seem before thee that hath come upon us, on our kings, on our princes, and on our priests, and on our prophets, and on our fathers, and on all thy people, since the time of the kings of Syria unto this day. How be it, thou art just in all that is brought upon us, for thou hast done right, but we have done wickedly. Neither have our kings, our princes, our priests, nor our fathers kept thy law, nor hearkened unto thy commandments and thy testimonies, wherewith thou didst testify against them. For they have not served thee in their kingdom and in their great goodness that they, thou gavest them. And in the large and fat of the land that thou gavest them, neither turned they from their wicked ways. Behold, we are servants this day, and for the land that gave us unto our fathers to eat, for the fruit thereof and the good thereof. Behold, we are servants in it. And it yielded much increase unto the kings whom thou hast set over us because of our sins. Also, they have dominion over our bodies and over our cattle at their pleasure. And we are in great distress. And because of all of this, we make a sure covenant and write it. And our princes, Levites, and priests seal unto it. Surely, It's true. Surely, my God reveals. And as I ask, my God brings forth. God, Yeshayahu, Hallelujah, Total Rabbi Yeshua. I ask for a detailed investigation to be brought forth to me. And not only was everything confirmed, but I was given hope. I was given faith that my God keeps his covenant. 
not only keeps it, but he shall renew it. Amen.